This is why I can't call you because of this right here. I've been praying to God it gets better. But you, you can't seem to move past what you think of me. Discovery Channel has aired some really good reality TV shows, but no show comes close to The Deadliest Catch. The show has retained its place on Discovery's programming lineup since 2005 and refuses to disappear from the television scene. Spanning over 18 seasons, Deadliest Catch showcases the host of Bering Sea Fishermen and their unending struggle to secure big crab hauls and earn even bigger paydays, showing off every inspiring win and sad loss. This means that Deadliest Catch isn't a scary name for a show, but it is a difficult job for those that dare to make an appearance on the show. A handful of the brave folks have risen to prominence among Deadliest Catch viewers, making their exploits all the more interesting to watch unfold, no matter how good or bad their luck is. Cast members like the siblings Jake and Josh, Captain Anderson, and Edgar Hansen, a name that rose to prominence in Season 9, are who make viewers glued to their screens. Since his debut, Edgar Hansen has been a name fans will not forget soon. He took over the operation of the FV Northwestern from his legendary brother, Sig, and worked closely alongside his niece, Mandy, to make their family name proud. After four active seasons on the show, Edgar Hansen disappeared from the show, and surely the fan base raised their eyebrows. But the answer the fans seek isn't hard to find. Let's get into what really happened to Edgar Hansen from Deadliest Catch. Deadliest Catch premiered on Discovery Channel in 2005, and yes, it airs worldwide. It is rare for a show to be accepted by all and sundry worldwide, but I guess the show's producers didn't lie when they tagged Deadliest Catch as the best reality TV show on Discovery Channel. Banters aside, most automobile and race reality shows are scripted except for a few. A perfect example is Pimp My Ride, hosted by Exhibit. Some other shows have been reported to be acted, but Deadliest Catch is free from all those speculations. The 18th season premiered this year on April 9th, meaning the show could still be around for years. When you talk of longevity value and awesome content, Deadliest Catch has it all. Additionally, it has great personalities, and from here we learn about Edgar Hansen's disappearance on the show after featuring in just four seasons. Edgar was born and raised in Seattle, Washington, D.C., and he was one of the Norwegian ancestry fishermen's descendant. His father, as well as his grandfather, were all fishermen, and so he technically has to be one. Growing up was fun for Edgar, as he often followed his father and siblings to their local river. What could make one's childhood better than going on an adventure with one's family? Edgar had very little college education, so he didn't graduate college, but he devoted the time and energy he ought to use for formal education to pursue his fishing career. No knowledge is a waste, right? Moreover, his expertise in the fishery industry made him a TV personality and provided income before he disappeared from the show. According to his family's story, Edgar is a fisherman, but there is another report that qualifies him as a ship captain. Don't get this twisted, Edgar does both effectively. Most times, Fishermen take up double roles on the water body. They have to sail their boat and also make a catch. I think Edgar took this seriously as he vested upon himself the position of an engineer for the FV Northwestern vessel. He served as a deck boss before his status elevated to one of a ship captain. Edgar Hansen entered the limelight after his appearance on the reality TV show and further years working as an infamous fisherman. The show basically allows fishermen, captains, and crabbers a chance at life an opportunity to showcase their skills and what they might know how to do best. Fishing Don't forget that Edgar does the majority of the tasks effortlessly, hence the love fans have for him. From Edgar's name, you could deduce that he has a cordial kinship with Sig Hansen. While growing up, their father will take his children to fish with him, and Sig, being the elder brother, will also have the responsibility of looking after his younger brother. Their relationship developed, which sparked what they chose as a career. Edgar also has another elder brother, Norman, who isn't into the limelight like Sig and Edgar, even though all three Hansons have an affinity for river activities. Sviri Hansen had relinquished all built-in knowledge to his kids, and it was just a matter of years before they made a name for themselves. Sig Hansen was the first known Hansen as a TV personality, because he began exploits at a tender age. He occupied himself with the family boat and everything needed to appropriate all loose ends. Edgar, however, had to wait a few years before being granted a permit to board the deck. When Sig turned 24, he was named the ship's captain, a position their father once occupied, while Edgar, who was already granted a permit, became a deckhand. All over Alaska, the Hansen's vessel is regarded as the most prosperous under the leadership of the brothers. 
They both hit a major milestone in their career when they won the Crab King Season Derby in 2015, and their second win in Apilio. Their deserved win paved the way for them, as they made their appearance on Deadliest Catch. Edgar Hansen has a private lifestyle to some extent, as his marriage to his partner Louise is still unknown, but he definitely proposed to her in 2009. Of course, they have been blessed with three kids named Eric, Logan, and Stephanie Hansen. Edgar's marriage is still unshakable despite the controversy surrounding why he left Deadliest Catch. So, for fans that want a detailed reason why Edgar Hansen left the show, in July 2018, Edgar pleaded guilty to a lawsuit filed against him for assaulting a teenager. According to the court documents, the reality television fisherman reached a plea deal in which he served a 364-day suspended jail sentence and was ordered to pay court fines and fees of $1,653. Those that know how effective laws and orders are in the United States will know how grievous Edgar's case was. He was, however, ordered to undergo an evaluation to make sure that such a thing doesn't happen again. I am very sorry for that conduct, and I have commenced treatment to ensure that nothing like this assault ever happens again," Edgar said after the court order. Since the demeaning act and court case, he hasn't officially featured on Deadliest Catch, but trust some eagle-eyed fans to act as football var pun intended have spotted him in the background on the deck of the Northwestern, where he is rumored to be working. To further clarify this, Mandy, Edgar's niece, posted a video on Instagram in 2018 of the crew doing the kickoff tradition of biting the head off a fish. That video clearly shows Edgar Hansen in the background, and fans asking numerous questions which haven't been answered by Mandy or any of the crew. This corroborates with the reality tidbit news outlet reports, Edgar might have managed to keep his job on the FV Northwestern, having only been requested to keep away from the spotlight. This means that fans that spotted Edgar in the background of some episodes didn't lie after all. While we wait for the official announcement from the Discovery Channel, show producers, and Hansen crew, it is safe to say Edgar won't be back on the show officially until after the court's order. Regardless of this, Sig and the Hansen's vessel have picked Mandy to be the new protege aboard, and she has been doing a great job keeping the family company viable. Edgar Hansen showed a lot of promise when he was a regular on the show, but wrong decision-making ruined his chances of attaining that top spot he deserves. We can only hope his apology was genuine and, most importantly, that he learns from his mistake while also working on himself to avoid such an incident. Aside from the whole controversy, Edgar is doing well for himself, and being a private person, he is not very open about his net worth. A rough estimate shows he is worth around 2 to $3 million, with most coming from his job as a fisherman and an engineer. Edgar Hansen is rumored to earn about $20,000 to $50,000 per episode on Deadliest Catch. Now that he has been absent or staying away from the spotlight, according to some fans, we don't think he receives up to that amount anymore. The Hansen family, especially Captain Sig, isn't disturbed by Edgar's presence, and he is reported cool with his daughter taking over his role on the show. In a recent interview with Nikki Swift, he has stated, She's been fast-tracked. The big picture is you take over the chair, so to speak. Then let's get you going on it. Knowledge is power, and I think the more experience she has there, the better off we are as a family entity. And that's just, you know, there's no animosity with the group about that. That's just the way it is. And if you don't like it, you can get the hell off my ship and find another job. That is some strong words right there. We hope Edgar's actions haven't affected his livelihood and his position as Sig's replacement, because Mandy is doing a great job manning the deck for her father, and she is not showing any signs of stopping soon, or did you notice any?